Hi everyone! We are continuing with the series of tutorials for Maverick. In this video we're going to talk about the user interface. Let's open a scene. We click on the start button. In this case we'll open the headphones. You already know about the central window called IPR, which is where the rendering takes place. Now let's see what we can find around it. Let's go to the left side. Here we have the main toolbar with several functions which we'll see little by little. The start button, open scene, save render, but for now let's focus on this button. If we click it, we'll find Maverick's shortcuts. It's very important that you become accustomed to these as this is the fastest way to work on Maverick. Okay. Maverick is divided in windows or panels. You can find them here in the top menu. Currently, all of them are activated, including the main toolbar. Now we will be explaining what we can find in each one of them. In the objects panel, we have the cameras and the different parts in the scene. As you can see, when I click on an item here, it's automatically selected in the scene, so it's easy to locate. The item library is the default library that comes with Maverick. They are very useful when you want to set up a scene. Under Lights, we have the Environment section and the Light section. In the Lightings library, we have more than 200 HDRs provided by Maverick, which will come in handy when illuminating your scenes. We also have backplates. Under materials, we will find the materials that are in our current scene and the maps that go with those materials. Last but not least, we have the materials library where we can find more than 1,500 materials which have been provided by Maverick. This will allow you to build scenes in a quick but efficient way. Let's go to the section that's under the IPR, where we'll find the nodal editor. Here's where we'll be able to create materials through nodes in a more complex way. Under counters, we'll see the graphic cards that we have installed. And under console, we have a panel that shows some errors that are used by the developer or by the user. Now. Let's go to the right section of the screen. Here we have one of the main windows in Maverick, which is Attribute Editor. It's where we can see the properties of anything we select in Maverick. For example, if we select this item, we are shown the properties of the materials of that item. If we click on an item under the Objects window, we can see the properties of it. We can do the same with cameras, lights, any item we click on will be listed under the Attribute Editor. Under Globals is where we configure the rendering parameters. Tone Map is the window where we do the post-production of Maverick's rendering. We have loads of options. It's very powerful, and we'll get to see that in future videos. In this section, we have Denoise, just in case you want to use it. Light Mixer is a tool we've added just recently. Very, very powerful. It divides the lights in the scene in different channels so we can edit the intensity and color of it without having to render. I recommend that you go watch the display video. I'm sure you'll like it. Under the AB window, we have our render history, where we can, little by little, save and compare the renders. In the AOVs section, we can find any typical AOV you'll find in other render engines. So as we have covered, these panels can be moved and rearranged to where you see fit. We can move the materials to the right, Attribute Editor down here. You can close them. 
we can do whatever we want. I recommend that you use Maverick's default configurations as they have been tested by our team and are especially designed to perform at its best when using Maverick. Let's take a look at them. They are up here in the layout section. We have four configurations for the time being. Full layout, materials, lights, and basic. We have some shortcuts for them which are F1, F2, F3, and F4. Let's try them out. If we press F1, we get the full layout with the active windows. This is the normal layout when using Maverick Render. If we press F2, we go directly to a layout designed to work with materials. Here we can find several panels, like the nodal editor, which is the biggest. When we press F3, we'll see the lightings panel, which is specifically designed for it. We now see two windows, which we had never seen before. They are called shaded views. The IPR is divided in rendering windows and shaded views, where we can freely move items, cameras, without having to be in the rendering window. These shaded views are very important when it comes to lighting up the scene because it allows us to add lights and move them as if they were cameras. To configure these shaded views, we can go to the main toolbar and we'll find all the configurations. We can have it like this. We have several options. Or we can go to Layout, Set Views Layout, and then change them from here. Perfect. Uh, let's go back to the layout. With F4, we can go to the basic layout, which is mainly designed to work with libraries. That's why we have the lightings library and the materials library. And we would just work by dragging and dropping anything from a library to the scene. Finally, with Control Tab, we full screen the scene and hide all the windows so that you can just work with the IPR. If we click on any item, the Attribute Editor will come up so that we can modify its properties. If we press Ctrl Tab once more, we go back to the previous configuration. It's important to learn these configurations to optimize your work on Maverick. F1 is Full Layout, F2 is Material Layout, F3 is Lighting Layout, and F4 is the Basic Layout. Great, that's all for now. We will be making videos on all the different panels so that you can see all its uses. I hope this video tutorial was useful and we'll see you in the next one.